welcome to my podcast, Jiname. This is my first time. Oh no, my second time actually. You are the second one. Oh, uh, awesome. Really before you. So um I had some questions for you, bro. Uh first of all, I'm gonna ask you about your origin. Um, I know you're from Nigeria and you got three major major tribes in Nigeria, the Hausa, the Igbo, <laughs> and the Yoruba. So mm. which one do you no, descend from? I'm not, I'm not from I would say I would say I'm I'm from the south, yeah, but it's not Igbo. But I was born and raised in the north, so I'm definitely Hausa. Okay, okay, okay. This yeah. Is... So um how did you get your nickname? Ah, uh, it's just Jack. friends. Uh, like, uh, the I was training with Larry Wills, yeah, yeah, and um, I had no like so like so social media. Okay. So he he wanted to open like get me one, mm -hmm. and we were trying like find a name, and of, and the, his assistant, the uh, little guy. You know, he just came up with, you know, since he's Jack, so how about we just give him Andrew Jack? <laughs> after, all, after all, Andrew is his name and Jack is what they call him, but like he said. So I'm like, okay, cool. So that's how Andrew Jack like came into existence, you know. Okay, that's good. So I have a question, uh, one more question about your youth. Uh, as when you were younger, you know, you know, among your friends, were you the fastest, the strongest? You know, tell me about that. I I was the smartest. The smartest. Okay, we're gonna come to that later on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> was, can you can you give me more details about that? Like the smartest, like like in uh, in creativity. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I always have a way out. I always have a solution to something. I always have so many options like a to z you know so i it was easy for me to outsmart uh, uh people and things okay that's that's a good one so yeah. okay you also mentioned that you made the choice to be successful in bodybuilding do you think others had a similar potential for it like others among your group your friends uh i think i think it's uh you know, you know it depends on the individual yeah because um well, i mean like well, when you look at the physique you know like among your friends, if you look at them, because you had, you know, made the choice, like you, you want to be successful in bodybuilding. But when you look at your friends back then, were there some between it that like had potential in your eyes? Yeah, like even some has got more potential than than me. But it's just that fear factor of taking that bold step. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So uh, in like no risk and no reward yeah me i've been taking risk all my life so it's it's uh, it's nothing new to me right. yeah okay so let's talk about the university how did you choose electrical engineering that's what you did uh, right? yeah it's a family thing okay yeah my so my my uh like ev everyone my brothers mechanical mechanical electrical so 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 you know you know what they say about this major because it's the highest average iq you know <laughs> all college majors so that means you got small people in your family yeah Including yeah yourself yeah we've got everything there we've got lawyers even there wow we've got people there so it's <laughs> so um and also i'm ex like military so if you want trouble we give you trouble if you want <laughs> You want court case we we have a lawyer Another yeah, yeah. Even. so if you want if you want if you want brains and whatever yeah. we've got so i'm um, so no problem awesome, awesome. <laughs> cool, man. yeah that's it man good answer <laughs> so you also mentioned that you do facial art does that mean you are a painter or no like uh uh i wasn't that good in painting though but i was good in sculpture in sculpting work yeah and also in um in collage you know like in putting together things to create an image yes yeah, yeah, yeah. At, at which age was this what at which age you, you started doing uh, this it's gonna be just something i saw i you know, like went over to a friend's place i saw him i saw some st things he did mm -hmm. and so when he was like doing them and i just you know i just i sat there i watched him and i went back home and i did my thing that's it so that, that's how mm -hmm. like, like 
but back then it was just a side hustle thing you know? yeah, yeah okay <laughs> okay so you seem to have um you like you seem to be an entrepreneur is it true that you started your own security company at university yep 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 um, yep, yep seriously yep. <laughs> Yeah, yep. I started, bro, because oh. uh, back in school, you know, like I, I, I checked the stats, and everyone they were having, you know, like the police, like come over the army just for security, and I'm like, no, I'll get my own line of, back. you know. So I was ahead. So I went to so many hotels, spoke to so many people. Some rejected, some accepted. They gave us mm -hmm. a trial, and I spoke to some friends, and uh, yeah, we delivered, and that's how. I uh, got my own group of bouncers and mm -hmm. did good. Like all, all through, all through my years in school, I did good. Yeah, I was, I was known well. You know, I respect. Good. I can imagine with your size and your length. You know, I used to <laughs> do a bouncer as well here in Holland. I think it was in the year, uh, I think two thousand nine, two thousand eight, two thousand twelve. I stopped. You know, because yeah. it was getting so so dangerous. You know, every night. You know, people like to pull up guns, you know, knife, and I got so yeah. many cut in my face. I'm like, nah, man, this is enough. Yeah. <laughs> true, bro, true, it's true. not worth it. It's not worth it, you know. So no. I, I see, then it's just to survive, you know. Yeah. yeah. No, there I understand, of course, you have to, but you know, it's, it's, it's some countries, it's just, you know, it's like here for it, like instance for the Netherlands, it's it's not worth it, man. You know, you're gonna yeah, yeah you, you have to like you can't protect yourself that well because otherwise they will fire like a, a complaint, you know, against you, you know, for excessive violence because you are <laughs> protecting yourself. So you have to be careful always. So it's like you got your hands tight, but you have to do your job. And that's impossible, you know. So, yes, let's go to the Middle East. Um, you came to Dubai or you moved to Dubai in 2012. What took you there? Uh, it was, it was, it was just... um. Okay, um, back in school, yeah, mm -hmm. a friend of mine, uh, his brother, like, wanted, there was a slot in the company he was, like, working for, mm -hmm. and uh, he spoke to his brother. His brother was actually, like, working with me, like, under me, mm -hmm. and, you know, and, like, I told him, okay, yeah, like, go, you give it a shot if it's uh, okay or whatever, you know, like, you uh you know, like keep doing what what you're doing. So he went over there, and he was in good terms with the head of the department. Mm. And I think he had some other like nationalities there, but I think those, those guys were like they don't uh, they don't actually know what they're doing. So he spoke to the head of the department, and they like brought me over because we make a very good team. So I came over, and that's how we started. And from there, I went over to uh, Doha, Qatar. Yeah. Then I came back to Dubai and I just uh, met Larry Wills and fell in love with the sport. So that's why I'm competing. Awesome. So, um, so what's like living in the Arab world? You know, what's your... Oh, I... It's, it's a, I you know, I, I know you I, have also Arab people in Nigeria, of course, you know, but you live in a different play area. So... I don't think I don't think I can I can I can live like I don't think I can live in uh, 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 any other place uh, apart from Dubai. It depends, except if the place has same, you know, like uh, environments, conditions, and everything like mm -hmm. there. Because there, it's like you're living in the future. You know, it's different. It's different. Like you, it's just peace there, peace and comfort. You know what I mean? True. Yeah, comfort there. A lot of comfort. <laughs> a lot, a lot. Yeah, a lot. Okay. So, um, how did you like living in Doha? You just mentioned that you lived in Doha as well, Doha, Qatar, compared to Dubai. Bro, so, bro, and you know, Doha is, yeah, go on. Anyway, the money is, I go there. <laughs> ah, of course. Yeah, you know, the family got to eat, man. Yeah. The family got to eat. Yeah. Had a, had a good, you know, like opportunity there and uh, the money was good. I'm like, okay. So I left Dubai, went there, then, you know, did what I will do there. But it, you know, I, then I came back to Dubai to uh, start off again. So, yeah. Okay. But if you compare these these countries, would you rather live in Doha, uh, Qatar, or Dubai? Dubai, different, bro. I'm telling you, like, you wait, bro, like, it's something else. Like, I've been there now for what? Like, uh, 
for six years now. Yeah, for six yeah. years now. It's, yeah. Okay, so bro, in 2020, you started to focus on bodybuilding. What attracted you? Attracted you to it? Uh, you know, it's when I met with Larry Wilson in 2019, uh, October the 29th. You know, we started to train. He discovered that I was different because we met in the parking lot and he wanted to, and we just spoke and he said, you would like, like to train? I said, yeah. So we started to train and he, and I was trying to keep up to him. So he was, he was shocked, like seeing me like moving weights, like so easily. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he's into everything like powerlifting and strong man. So yes. we did Rock wrestling. Yeah. We did a couple of those things and the way I was like, Catching up, he was shocked and everything, you know what I mean? So <laughs> and um and not just that, also I was I was like looking good too. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. And and I think uh back in the expo, I think I saw we he was signed with uh, Revive. Okay. He was he was friends with Matt uh Jensen. Jensen. Yeah. Yeah. Matt he saw me and said, Bro, you compete? I'm like, no, and Larry said, Bro, like he's been telling this guy to compete. He don't even have like <laughs> social like media. I have to open this stuff for him, like two weeks, blah blah. Matt said, Hey, hey, bro, give it a shot. Like Matt, you know, like he took me under his wings and we wanted to do some something. I think we're prepping for about three weeks. Mm -hmm. Um, they called off the Arnold, the amateurs. Uh, that was 2020, right? Yeah, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. And then they, um, then they, I think one day to the show, they put it back on, but I couldn't because 16 hours flight, there was no way I could make Yeah, I got you. So we, um, we changed our plans for Australia, mm -hmm. Australia in April, and that was canceled also. So I'm like, yeah, I was, that, was, that was when the whole world went to the lockdown. No. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I just relaxed in 2021. I decided, I, you know, like I spoke to myself. No, I spoke to to, to Matt. I told him, bro, um, since I still haven't learned or done anything, yeah, I would just do the basics. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So we started with the basics, and uh, I started with uh, Jasim, just to learn how it is, stage mm -hmm. fright and where. Yeah, just doing some local shows, and yeah. they didn't even like do anything. Even just having fun. And uh, I think after they gave me the ban, that mm -hmm. I was, uh, they all cooked up some funny like story against they, me and they, David. They, excuse me, excuse me. They gave you a what? A ban? A ban? They gave me and David only because me and David, David was not no who, who, like who did that? The federation. Yeah, yeah. The elite like, federation. David was actually the champion of the UAE before I came, but when when I came, yeah. he put me on. And I started to win shows. He was coming second. Mm -hmm. He was also, you know, like happy. He was just supporting me, you know, like telling me that, yeah, bro, you have to go somewhere. So we're winning every show, all the big shows, and the biggest one. Remember in Fujira, I took first, he took second. And the federation, like, wanted us to go pro, like, go compete mm -hmm. with the, you know, like, go, you know, like, we should stop doing the local shows and go international. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, like, we didn't, you know, like, I don't want to be rude. I told them, okay, we'll see. You know what I mean? So yeah. they filed, you know, like uh, they saw that we weren't interested and then they filed the they they filed a complaint and gave us ban that we were on steroids. <laughs> wow. And I'm like, you know, like mm. they they you, you said, guys were winning too much shows. You were you were <laughs> you were getting all the trophies, all the checks. He and David were smoking everyone and none, none of them. <laughs> anything you know so i think um and they got like jealous and everything and yeah. even when they brought the 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 paper and everything just for me and david only i told them hey <laughs> we were like laughing even we yeah. didn't sign whatever we didn't sign anything and yeah. but i'm like you you are saying we're on steroids even our coach even is part of your federation yeah, yeah, I yeah. so what the fuck are you guys saying so I left. Yeah, I left. I came to the uh, came uh, uh, Ohio. So to Ohio. When I see when I won the Ohio, they were saying, "Oh, it's just like a regular pro card, like the regular guys who go get pro card and chill out." You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But when they saw the video that went like viral, mm -hmm. with Eve, when I was 
closing with Steve. Yeah, I, what, what, yeah. A, a question about that. How did he, how did Steve found your physique when he saw you the first time? What was his yeah. uh, impression? Nah, he was shocked, man. He was like, wow, you know, like this yeah, guy, like like everybody else. Yeah, because he haven't even heard like heard of me before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, yeah. With 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 you know like with with uh, with a good like physique, you know what I mean. So yeah, he was yeah. shocked. Oh, and after that, after what it takes Texas Pro, then all of them were like start like starting to want to be friends and blah blah. Yeah. Like, bro, it's crazy, man. Honestly, that's that's but, how it goes. When you win, you get friends. When you lose, they disappear, yeah, man. Nobody like, knows you anymore. <laughs> Nobody wants to be associated with you. <laughs> and now. All of them wants to be my friend. And yeah. I'm like, yeah. okay. I was I was impressed as well. So I can't blame Steve. The first time I saw you, I couldn't believe I was I saw you already on the videos with Larry Wheels, you know. So yeah. I knew about you, you know, and then I saw you like in life. I'm like, I think at the um, uh Dubai I, Muscle Show, I was going to fuck this guy, you know. I couldn't <laughs> like I couldn't keep my eyes from your arms and <laughs> And everything was just and, 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 and the fact that you didn't even like he wasn't even into bodybuilding that long, you know. I'm like, fuck this guy. And I was keep telling you, bro, you can beat Mr. Olympia, you know. That time I, I think know. Rami won his first Olympia. Man, you know, so I always tell you, bro, this like if you keep your head down, you know, discipline, you know, yeah. you can you can get far, man. You know, just do what you have to do and always keep your mind, you know, what you are doing it for. Yeah, well, that's yeah, how yeah. I kept it. Uh, you know, a lot of people you're gonna get a lot of haters. That's oh, something right. that's when you're doing good, you're gonna get a lot of haters. When you do bad, you know, nobody's gonna talk about you. So, yeah, yeah let them hate, you know, just do your thing. And uh, man, I, I believe in you, man. I said it before, I'm gonna say it now again. So, what was your diet plan like? Because, uh, what was your diet plan like, you know, as when you started? Like when you was new to the bodybuilding scene, uh, I think I think I think the whole diet thing like started last year when I during do the. Do you know? Do you know how to prepare your diet, like your training and all this yeah. stuff? Or yeah, bro, like I trained myself like from ground up. Like I had yeah. no to whatever. I did everything. Like even I trained myself, so I know how my body, you know, like uh, functions mm -hmm. and and. It, preparing or whatever just it's uh it's an easy thing if there's nothing like special but just like you're passing an instruction to someone you have to do this and that and this and that and that's mm -hmm. it yeah so since last year it was it was difficult though at the first because i barely could eat you know like six six That's meals okay. yeah i was yeah. just having four i was having three and one shake because my my i have my stomach i grew up eating just three meals Okay, so, so how, how many yeah. how many meals do you eat usually before you go to the gym before you go work out? Uh well, sometimes I don't even eat. <laughs> That's what I mean. He doesn't even eat before work out. <laughs> I actually yes. did this on purpose, you know, because I checked yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, like then. But now, 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 I'm starting to have like two meals before the gym. Yeah, yeah. Uh, difficult, but I'm. I think I think I'm getting used to the system, you know. Yeah, once you get used to it, it took me like two, three years, man, before I got used to it. I like food, you know, and you from Africa as well, you know, we like food. And I was always like, even when I went to my mom's place, I just couldn't keep my hands from the food. And later on, you know, I was like, nah, man, I have to get rid of these stuff, you know, and focus. And that's when I started winning, you know, big shows. Yeah. So, yeah. So let's go on. Um, How did you develop such an international physique like what you have now i i don't know i think it's just i it's mean just... you weren't you weren't born like this you know it's not like you know god put you like this and no but you know um all through the all through the years all through the course of growing up and i was i love doing sports and so many things. like mm -hmm. as a kid back then i watched like movies of chuck Norris, jackie chan Vabadam. i go over to the backyard and practice on my own and that's how i learned like so many things like even on uh take boxing and mma too yeah, yeah. I, I didn't have any coach but i was doing all this by myself and even when i went into a um a class mm -hmm. 
and the instructor you know like he saw me he was like who trained you i'm like it's just from the movies you know so it's all, <laughs> everything everything i'm able to do now no yeah. one is just me it's just yeah. i look at something i like it i yeah. practice it. You know what i mean so that's uh that's, that's good, man. awesome yeah. so after five years in the middle east <clears throat> how did you meet larry wheels and develop an instagram account finally because you said something about you know when you came to dubai he was trying to help you to get an instagram instagram account so how did this all go oh i, I was in dubai already um i went over to a gym to train a client of mine and i saw larry there in the gym he was like working out and we just like you know like contact like yo what's up bro you know, yeah, you know yeah. i mean i think like two days after Two days after I was, uh, I just parked my car, was coming down from the parking lot. I saw him and, you know, like we just like spoke like bros, you know, he just said, yeah. like, do you train or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's how we started and we started like real good. And so after like uh, so many weeks, I think he said, oh, what's your Instagram? That is curious because we're training. I'm not even on my phone. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you train or whatever, I don't even he tried to see if maybe he will have a tag or something like me tagging yeah, him or yeah, something yeah 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 like, bro, do you have i'm like bro, i don't have any. <laughs> he was crazy. like you don't have any i'm like yes. yeah i'm just i just like to train and just have fun yeah. you know what I mean? he was like no bro i'll have to yeah. give you one <laughs> so he invited yeah. me over to and that was when we we're trying to find the name and his assistant got me the name and, and he, put it, happy. he put it on his story he did that yeah, in the first five minutes, I got about almost 18,000 followers. 18,000? 18, 18,000. Yeah, because that's in through Larry five. Wills. I, through him, I saw you, you know, so it was a good move, man. Very good move, yeah. And, and also, also, until, until now, I'm grateful to him. And also, we shared the same month in December, so I think the connection was good. You guys are still cool with each other, right? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. but we're doing like different thing. I'm switched into the line of bodybuilding, yeah, building, yeah. Stuff, power training and stuff, so that I can grow and be. No, some... you can't. You can't. You can't go back with power training anymore, bro. Oh. So, <laughs> you gotta tear something up, and then it's yeah. over. So, yeah. Uh, well, he's good though. He's good. He's good. He's good. Like we're we're real. We're real brothers you know what i mean yeah, i hope to meet him one day because honestly i've been the, to business gym i think twice and i've never met him before man i've never seen him there before as well in, in the time. Time because yeah i you know i go most of the time late you know yeah like yeah I mean, and, and 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 not just that like he trains i think like like twice a week on in the gym and does the power training like power lifting stuff and then do, do arm wrestling so he's just everywhere Okay, hope one day when I come to Dubai, you can introduce me to him. No, nah, he moved to LA already. He's back in Los Angeles? He's not yeah, yeah. in Dubai no more. No, no, no. He moved out, I think, uh, two weeks ago. The week before I came, yeah, him, he left Dubai, like, finally. Okay. Wow. Okay. So that's, uh, okay, some news. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah I didn't know. Exp- is, is there a reason for it, or? No, nah, he just felt he wasn't like he's done everything he could do, and like there was no more, you know, like traffic because of the things he was doing. And LA, you've got too many influencers, athletes, and stuff. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah so he wanted to like have more boost in what he's doing. So okay, so yeah. add add one more. You died at five days for your first competition in Dubai. You overwhelmed your competition. How did it? make you feel you know like going into a bodybuilding show everyone is prepping like three four months you go there like five you know days of diet and uh you still uh overwhelm overwhelm them yeah you, you know it was it's you know it's funny it's just um i didn't want it to do the show it was just a small show like a mini mini show it's a luck local show and 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 justin said Andrew, just just try, just go and just see how you would do on stage. And yeah. I'm like, I'm like, bro, no, I'm not interested. Taste the so water. I, yeah, so I, you know, just, you know, like I told him, bro, no, I'm not interested. You know, I think uh, six days to the show, I called him up, bro. Mm. I think he's like, what? I'm like, yeah, he said, look, you've seen. <laughs> so yeah. I went over home. 
I went about the, the next day, I saw him and, and he said, first of all, you go on the on treadmill for one hour. I'm like, huh? He said, yeah, you go to your cardio for one hour. So I went there, I started and, you know, like we just did the whole thing we could do for five days and uh, no. So, so, bro, you made a serious statement this Olympia. Actually, last year you did good with all the shows. Okay, okay. No, 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 wait. It was, this was your first Olympia. Eh? It was your first Olympia. It's just a show. It's just bro, a show. It's, it's, no, man, this is the biggest <laughs> stage on the watch. It's just a show. You know how many bodybuilders want to get on the Olympia stage? This no, is homie, the just a, ball just of, honest. Nah, bro. No, 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 no. Bro, this is the biggest show. And you was there, and you was number eight of the world. Your first show. You know, it yeah. took me, I think, two, three tries before I got eight place at, at, at Olympia. You know, so, oh. yes. And plus, you know, I know you were sick as well before yeah. the show. You know, what yeah. happened? Oh, man. I don't know. I think it's just, it's just... Uh, I, I, I saw you all the time with, with, with fest and jackets. You know, I thought you was making a joke. Like, you know, oh. you try to keep yourself, like, to sweat more and... I don't know. I conditioning. Think I think it's COVID I got. Sure? I think it's COVID. Yeah, bro, because, you know, after, you know, like, from the way it is, or from the way it was, rather, you know, it just comes and then goes after two days, it comes back, back again. Like, mm -hmm. if I'm on my own, I feel a little bit okay. But when I mix with people, it comes back. I'm like, yeah, what? Yeah. And, and that was when, you know, like, after I did uh, three tests, mm -hmm. it was negative. But I spoke to my to my doctor. He said, it's the new well, strain of COVID, yeah, that it can dictate, but you will have, you know, like flu, bronchitis, bronchitis, or whatever. I'm like, he said, just uh, take do some, cut it down on what you're using and uh, you do some antibiotics. So uh, just, uh, just, uh, they think four weeks to this tour to the Olympia, I called George. I told him, bro, I don't think I will, uh, I, I will just back up. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I, I, I told him, I told him, he didn't do it. Yeah, I, and like, I told him, bro, I won't do this show anymore. And then he's like, okay, Andrew, like anything you decide, just, uh, you know. Then I slept, I woke up the next day, I'm like. Yeah, bro, that, that's I, a long I, trip. That's a long trip, long trip. Like, winning all I'm the like, shows, getting there and getting sick and say, nah. <laughs> and the money spent, I'm like, you spent yeah. all this cash, you know. Uh -huh. I'm like, I would just, I would just go have fun. I'm sure if you saw, I was just. The training level, like I literally prepped myself for the Olympia, like literally prepped myself. Yeah, yeah. I you believe know? you, man. I believe yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's okay. It's it's probably it's good. It's good because at my worst, I was like that. So now I'm trying to like better myself, which I know things that needs to be fixed and done. So yeah. That's okay, bro. So, bro, um, what inspired you? Because we talk, you know uh at the uh, in vegas and you wasn't uh, supposed to do the arnold i asked you are you going to do the arnold you said no and i was you know looking at this guy I'm like hmm, you know yeah. and i was thinking of myself not doing it as well you know yeah. so i did a blood check and later on everything seems to be fine you know some yeah. little things you know but it's just because we train so aside of that everything is fine so i decided to do the show so what made you decide to do the arnold's finally oh uh, first of all uh, 2023. First of all, after you convinced me, but I still wasn't interested. Hmm. Then um, I did my blood work, and it went better hmm. than two years before because I do my blood work like every six months. It was yeah. better even than if after the Texas. It was better before better. Yeah. after the Ohio. It was better. Like nothing happened, and yeah. my doctor was shocked. So I told them maybe it's, it's because of the medications I had like during the Olympia prep show because it just dissolved everything and fixed me up. So, mm. you know, so my blood work was, was amazing. Okay. And I was happy to, you know, health issues. That's the most and, important thing, you know. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, I, I was supposed to go for vacation end of March. Mm. And I'm like, okay, what will I be doing from, that time until March. And then I heard the Arnold is the 35th anniversary. Mm -hmm. cool. And yeah, and also. All the like, got to be there. 
Exactly. And also, I'm like, since I'm doing this show also, some mm -hmm. same as uh, the regionals, mm -hmm. Africa, Mozambique, I'm like, yeah. okay, now I'll just use the Arnold just to grow my exposure, like to expand, to create that. Because yeah. I'm still in the industry. I'm just a year old yeah. even because I think this, this Arnold will mark my 365 days in the bodybuilding industry. Wow. Yeah. No, yeah. Because I started from... Something to from, celebrate. From, yeah. I'm sure you win the damn show, man. <laughs> uh, I hope so, Chris hears me there now. I hope he hears me now, so he's gonna push you there in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good. So uh, you know, like I like gave it a thought, and and then I read real. I read your message again. I'm like, yeah. okay, I'll do the Arnold. So I called up. I called up. Uh, I texted uh, Lloyd, and he said he was even excited. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Uh, he was looking for people all the time. You know, so. <laughs> Yeah, they did a good job. They really did a good yeah. job. Awesome. Yeah, and in two hours, everything was done. In two hours, in just two hours, everything was done. Good, good. So, bro, yeah. how how is it working with Chris Aceto being so far? Uh, it's good. It's good. It's good. Because um, the main thing, like I said earlier, I was, I was more interested in a trainer, not a coach, because mm -hmm. my I train myself, so my body is used to my kind of uh, 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 drills, mm -hmm. and I can. I'm, I'm, talk, I'm not talking about Chris Psycho, eh? That's another question. I'm talking about yeah. Aceto. I know, yeah. I know. Okay, I'm just, I'm just, I'm going towards that. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. So when um huge fan of 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 Psycho, yeah, and you know, I spoke to Stan because Stan is friends with him, and Stan said, yeah, he's good. So to him and i spoke to him and you know i told him okay how do you work do you are you comfortable to work with i gave him some names of coaches and he's like well there is one he's been working with there's only one coach he's been working with like for a long time yeah. and they're both together mm -hmm. you know on together they know how they do their things they know they know their master plan and i'm like yeah. well if that would be, 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 be the case okay i'll ride along mm -hmm. with uh, with with anyone you bring into the circle yeah and and i spoke to acido and acido was like yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know so i'm like yeah, yeah. And that's, uh, but does this mean but, now what go on, go, does this mean yeah. now that you're gonna stay in the usa for now for every prep or just now for the honor prep or you're gonna come there after the honor do for the olympia prep or qualification I've for the olympia prep yeah, I've always been I've always been camping here in the USA in okay. uh, like weeks towards a show yeah. because of leave my comfort zone, which is uh, Dubai, come here and focus. So yeah. of course, any show I'm doing is still in the USA. I have to like come over here, train, get my ass kicked a lot so that we can, <laughs> you know, like get things to happen. And now that I know what needs to be improved, I have to be under someone that can help me and fix those things you know because i can't train like like now i can't push myself for oh, chris is gonna push you <laughs> believe <Yeah. me. laughs> he's gonna push you like uh, training that, wise he's gonna push you i know that for sure but and it's uh like the you know like old school style and you know i'm comfortable like now like some people if they're like training you or pushing you and you like feel that no you can't do this they get yeah. angry that you yeah, have yeah. to no, no but it, how your body like responds True. and like i tell them this like this like this he would just adjust immediately yes yeah. True, but that's how it's supposed to you know it's not like you have to kill you in the gym to make everybody see he's a good uh -huh. trainer you understand nah. so that's what a lot of trainers do you know but when you put them through the same training you know they will be like <laughs> shitting themselves yeah. in the first 20 20 minutes you know so yeah, yeah. i understand it man bro i know you don't have a lot of time you got to catch a flight so i have like a Two more questions for you. Sure. Will you win the Mr. Olympia? And can you predict when? It's in God's hands, bro. It's in God's hands. Well, everyone just stay tuned. It's in God's hands. Mine, I'm I'm not I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at winning my old self. I'm I'm looking at winning my against my old self. Okay. You know? Yeah. Okay. So I'm competing against myself. Okay, because that was my last question. You know, along the way, who will be your greatest competition? And it will be yourself. Of course. Yeah, it's me. So I'm 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 competing against myself and if I keep winning, I know I will get there. 
That's it. Okay, man. Thank you, Mr. Bodybuilding, Mona Lisa. <laughs> Thank you for joining, my brother. <laughs> really That's appreciate awesome. it. And uh, I want to have a safe flight and uh, yep. catch up soon, brother. Thank yes, you. I'll see you. This Andrew Jack. Excuse me. Let's go. I'll see you in Ohio. Yeah, I'll be there in Ohio, man. I'll be there in Ohio. I'll do my best, you know, but, you know. <laughs> Thanks, bro, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a big you know like a strong lineup so you oh, gotta be bro, yeah. in every, in every, i don't know it's a different uh true well, true so we'll, the bonac. true everybody knows everybody knows it's like the it's like you it's like there's a secret sauce you use for the arnold's bro i'm i'm watching for you i'm not talking about me i'm talking about you what you <laughs> i've i've bought it twice you know <laughs> it's your turn now so Bring everything you got, brother. You know, bring it everything and you know, get a paycheck, go support the family back home. You know what, yeah. brother? You know, that's what we're here for, right? Yes, sir. Get, no, bro, a, true. get a job done, man. Yep, I'll try. Okay, it's brother. a uh -huh. thank you. Appreciate it, right, brother. Thank Appreciate you, man. It, Take care.